They have a product that we shipped last December uh, that was eloquently called Windows Azure Services for Windows Server 2012. Um, and uh, uh, it was a really cool product, although it was a really long name. And so one of the things that we're, we kind of announced today was the next generation of that product, which has a whole bunch of new capabilities and features. Uh, but also we kind of simplified as a Windows Azure pack, just because that, that's a lot simpler to say. And at a high level, what it allows you to do is effectively um, download and install on your private cloud environment, or really across any Windows server environment, um, a bunch of the features in Windows Azure. Uh, and it kind of talks a little bit to that kind of symmetry and consistency that we're trying to drive between the different environments. Uh, and specifically, um, the version that we showed today lets you set up a web environment, so you can have websites and web applications, uh, you manage your SQL databases, uh, you can go ahead and manage your infrastructure as a service VMs, so you can run any VMs you want inside there. Uh, and you can also, uh, one of the new things that were announced today is the ability to use service bus, uh, which is kind of our messaging system. Uh, and the great thing is you can use that in the cloud, all these features in the cloud with Azure, you can now use all these features on Windows uh, Server. And you can use a common management portal across the two. And uh, we're also enabling you to use this PowerShell and a common set of APIs for managing them across the two. And again, that, that kind of allows us to kind of uh, tell a story and have a consistency model where developers can write to the same abstractions both places, uh, IT managers and, and uh, IT professionals can manage it in a consistent way and you're using kind of the same management tools as well as APIs, uh, as well as system center across the two. Um, and uh, makes it really, really for a differentiated story. Uh, 